Ladies and gentlemen, on the occasion of 76th anniversary of Invali and Mart Days, July 27, 1947, July 27, 2023, in the morning of July 26, at the Mater Cemetery Hill 82, Bronzo Party Comedy, People Council, People Comedy, the Vietnam Farland Bronx Comedy of the Province solemnly held the ceremony to visit the Mater Cemetery, memorialize and bury the remains of Vietnamese volunteer soldiers and expert who died in. Cambodia and right back home in phase number two, period 22, right season 2022-2023. It's armed to show respect and deep gratitude to heroes and martyrs who bravely fought and sacrificed for the cause of national liberation, national reunification, and noble international obligation. With the tradition of drinking water, remember the source at the ceremony, the leaders offer flowers and burn incense to commemorate the heroes and martyrs who sacrificed for the independence and freedom of the country and for the sake of great international obligation. In addition, the delegates attended the memorial and burial ceremony for the remains of Vietnamese volunteer soldiers and experts who died in Cambodia and brought home in the second phase with 86 remains but have not been identified. Standing Vice Chairman of the Provincial Service Committee for Duc Trump, head of the Steering Committee on Searching, Gathering and Identifying the Remains of Martyrs of the Province, emphasized that the party committee, government and people of the Nguyen Province always respect and deeply grateful for the great sacrifice and contributions of the heroes and martyrs. He affirmed that the great sacrifice of the heroes and martyrs he affirmed that their great sacrifice have marked the golden page of the nation's history. The martyrs have devoted their whole life to the cause of national liberation struggle and noble international duty with the fist that are still alive with time, that both Vietnam and Cambodia always cherish and remember forever. On July 26, the People's Public Security Youth Board, the Ministry of Public Security, coordinated with the Nguyen Youth Union and the Nguyen Police Department to organize many meaningful and practical activities to celebrate the 76th anniversary of Royal Valley and Martyr Days. This program was attended by Major General Ngo Hoi Thu, Deputy Director of the Department of Party Political Affairs, Ministry of Police Security. In Mong Kong Commune Tung Bing District, 300 people with difficult circumstances and policy families were given free medical checkups and medicines worth 15 million Viet Nam Dung. At the same time, each resident who came for medical examination also received a number of gifts. On the same day, the delegation visited and gave gifts to Vietnamese heroic mother Nguyen Thị Chai in Tung Khoi Commune Chok Han District and Vietnamese heroic mother Lê Thị Mie in Bong Nang Commune Yum Chau District. Also on July 26, Ms. Hoàng Thị Thanh Thúy, Deputy Head of the Provincial National Assembly Delegation, visited and presented gifts to 14 policy families and people with meritorious services in Goyo District. At its destination, Ms. Hoàng Thị Thanh Thúy graciously visited the health and life situation of the family. She expressed her deep gratitude for the dedication and sacrifice of the families. She wishes the families and veterans to always be safe and healthy. On this occasion, she presented 14 gifts to the families of martyrs with total value of 21 million Viet Nam Dung. Turn to other news. The audience, after two days of serious and responsible work, the Congress of the Labour Union of the Province lost the morning of July 26. With the spirit of innovation, democracy, solidarity, development, and the goal of building the Nguyen province for comprehensive development, the Four Provincial Trade Union Congress has set a breakthrough with two contents, specifically strengthening communication solutions to raise awareness and responsibility of officials and union members to set an example and model for discipline, building office culture, renovating the trade union operation method, focusing on digital transformation, the model of the union management through the electronic network system, administrative reform, connection between provincial union of public employees and restaurant trade unions. Speaking at the Congress, Mr. Trang Le Yui, Chairman of the Labour Confederation of the Nguyen Province, recognized and appreciated the activities of the provincial public employees trade union with many innovations, creativity, overcoming many difficulties. It has mobilized union members and workers to emulate and successfully complete the targets and tasks, helping it develop and be in place. 
In the afternoon of July 25th, the emulation block of central agencies held a preliminary review of emulation and commendation work in the first segments of 2023. In the first segments, seven out of seven member units of the block located in the province actively responded to emulation movement and proactively renewed emulation and commendation work. Through the movements, there have been many typical advanced collective and individuals who have always successfully completed their science studies. They are rewarded in many forms. These are really good examples to replicate and learn from. At the conference, collective and individual representatives of the block presented presentations. In the coming time, the block's member units will well implement the science contents of the 2023 emulation covenant and the emulation movement launched during the year. In the academic year of 2022-2023, the Department of Education and Training and VMBT Training have deployed the school management software VNE2 to serve the administration, statistics, and centralized reporting in the whole education sector in Tenen Province. Thereby, VNE2 software has promoted many features for the education industry, such as the system has been used to test more than 1,255,000 messages that announce meeting schedules, deployment contents and activities to the teacher. It meets the fast and timely information needs of the work. Currently, there are 268 out of 326 schools using VNE2 software with a rate of 82% of which 258 out of 326 schools have parents using electronic communication books with the rate of 79%, an increase of 12%. Implementing VNPT money non custodian payment service for more than 222 schools, smart attendance system at 56 schools. In addition, during the year, VNPT tenants sponsor a total of 860 million Vietnam dong to support poor students and develop education in the province. At the conference, Mr. Nguyen Tân Đức, Director of the Department of Information and Communications, Deputy Head of the Provincial Steering Committee for Digital Transformation, appreciated the cooperation efforts between the two units. In the coming time, the Department of Education and Training needs to push cashless payments, digital signatures, e-invoice and e-contracts. In addition, online public services, the responsibility of education and training to create a digital society and digital citizenship will also be further promoted. The two units have signed a cooperation agreement on information technology application between VNBT and the entire education sector in the province in the 2023-2024 school year. Recently, on July 23, the Appeals Committee of the Nen Province issued plan W207 which requested agencies and units to carry out tasks to proactively prevent and control landslide. It is aimed at ensuring the safety of life as well as limiting property damage to people and infrastructure works in the rainy season. Accordingly, specialized agencies need to closely monitor the situation of natural disaster and landslide. In order to promptly respond and rescue if national disaster occur, being ready to repair forces, means and equipment for rescue work to support the people in the prevention, response and recovery of natural disaster, at the same time inspect and handle violations in order to ensure safety and reduce the impact of landslides. Southern Irrigation Exploitation One Member Company Limited, Tenant Irrigation Exploitation One Member Limited Company, actively monitor the rain situation from hydrometer orological agencies, water level and water flow to the reservoir, operating the water reservoir according to the approved process. There should be a notice before the flood discharge so that the local authorities and people in the downstream area can rightly respond, raise the awareness of organizations and people about the prevention and control of river erosions. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sustainable Forest Management, Protection and Development in the province has already received the attention and rather direction from the Bronze People Committee, branches and locality. Recently, in your team, rotation forest, forest development has been utterly implemented by forest owners. 
Specifically, in decision number 437, dated March 12, 2023, of the Chairman of the Provincial Service Committee, and decision number 55, dated on April 27, 2023, of the Department of Planning and Investment, the management board of your team protection forest was assigned as the investor and directly managed the forest protection and development project in your team protection forest. In the period of 2023 2025, according in the period of 2023 2025, the management board will plant 1,000 hectares of new forest and take care of planted forest with 2,177 hectares in Tengkyou and Yumjou districts with a total investment of about 33.9 billion Vietnam. Some of the set goals can be mentioned as follows planting new forests, taking care of forests, ensuring the protection role of your thin reservoir, and well developing the existing forest area, building and developing sustainable protection forests, rising the coverage, creating an ecological environment, preventing erosion, limiting natural disaster, creating aquatic resources, determine reasonable trees, reforest on vacant land, land occupied by people in order to improve the coverage and ensure maximum promotion of the protection capacity of your thin lake. The land fund is that we have prepared enough route to plant forest this year. Regarding the afforestation model, we have now followed the decision one double sector in 2021 of the Provincial Service Committee, here mainly planting according to the DCS model with the function of protection. As a role, we mainly roll literal capacity and robotry. Afforestation is an extremely important task. The management board has coordinated with local authorities to remote coordination, advocacy, propaganda, resolutely handle cases of illegal planting of agricultural crops on forest land according to the decision 1573 of the Provincial People's Committee. According to the management board, Tung Tan Kamil Tung Chau District is a locality with a large area of land to implement the project with nearly 1,000 hectares. When people sign a contract for a forest station with the management board, people will be advised on the appropriate model. In the area of Tung Tan Kamil, people mainly contract a forest station according to the DCS model that will have up the digital capacity and half of the rubber. At the same time, the management board will fully repair seedlings, instruct people on planting and care techniques to ensure high survival rates of planted forests. According to the management board, through propaganda, people have understood their applications and rights when they have a contract to plant and protect forests. Specifically, contract mainly for forest protection, the policy of paying for forest environmental services, supporting the cost of implementing Revenge and fighting, enjoying the full benefit of the auxiliary trees, etc. Currently, the policy of forest care and protection is increasingly much better towards the benefit of forest growers to increase their income and stabilize their life. Therefore, more and more consensus is received from the people. investor to do well in afforestation.
A country decision 560 hydrates has been planted, reaching over 95%. For the rest of this rain decision, we will focus on planting for the assigned area. By 2025, the Provincial Appeals Committee has assigned us a target of 1,000 hydrates. So in 2024-2025, we will continue to plant about 200 hydrates more and are expected to complete this target. Through the implementation of programs and projects on sustainable forest development, people's perception of policies to benefit from forests has strengthened, thereby forest resources are managed and rotated sustainably. It has to promote well its protection features, rotate biodiversity, combat climate change, especially rotate yielding lake irrigation work. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for watching and see you next time.